Davis, what do you, what do you guys see as the issues that this offense needs to get corrected? Um, just little things. I think we're shooting ourselves in the foot, for, uh, you know, maybe like with technique and stuff like that. But there's no major issues with this offense. There's there's nothing that sort of nature. Uh, it's just the little little things for us um, that are very uh, fixable and just you know we just got to go back to work and and be honest with ourselves and um, you know just keep uh, giving the effort and and the the passion because that's there and you know this team plays extremely hard um, and everybody cares that's not an issue it's just the little details with us um, and uh, we'll get it right no one's worried no one's freaking out um, so does it I mean does it is it a little bit of a mental issue in the sense that hey we've got two losses already and maybe we're not going to be able to get to the playoffs no no um, I mean no one's used to Having two losses, I mean, but you know that's not we can't we can't worry about playoffs right now. We got to worry about this week. We got to worry about BC. We got to worry about getting better. You know, as long as we put our head down and continue to to work and put in the work and and try to get better, you know, look up and we're ten and two. You know, who knows what can happen? You know, you never know. We're still in September, so nobody's worried about that right now. I don't know if they're the same mistakes, um, but you know you're never going to be perfect with anything. Uh, it's always, you know, you're always trying to get better, and there's always going to be things to to work on and to to figure out. So, um, you know, I, I think it's just the way this team is. You know, we just got to continue to um, really, really focus on the little details. Um, so. I think everybody's fine. I think they're good. Um, you know, yeah, like, we want to win. You know, like that's that's what we do here. You know, and so there's that part of it. But no one's no one's quitting on each other. No one's you know pointing fingers. You know, that's not that's not who we are. It's not the culture here. You know, everybody's just like, all right, you know, how can we get better? Like, like you know, it's time we need to really fix things that need to be fixed. Um, but no one's pointing fingers. No one's doing nothing like that. Everybody's, you know, you know, times like this, you know, either you're, you're going to split or you're going to come together even stronger, you know, because outside world, everybody on Twitter and media, you know, they're like, what the heck's going on, you know, trash and just it's all negative stuff. Um, and so, you know, this is really the time where we come even closer together and you come, you know, the bond that you have with each other becomes stronger. Um, and so... You know, I'd say overall everything's good. You know, we want to win. You know, we want to fix the things. Um, but there's no pointing fingers, nothing like that. Is this that balance like of holding people accountable but not, you know, like calling them out, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, just kind of the way Coach Sweeney's just kind of built the culture here. I mean, like everybody holds each other accountable, you know. Like, they're, you know, kind of like you said, there's like there's a fine line of just like, you know, being a jerk and calling someone out, you know, uh, and, and then just, you know, holding them accountable because you care for them and you want them to do their best. Uh, and, and we have a lot of those guys like that, you know. Everybody wants to hold each other accountable. It's my job, it's Braden's job to hold the tight ends accountable, you know. It's my job to hold Braden accountable, it's his job to hold me accountable. Um, and it's like that in every position group. Uh, same thing for the coaches, you know, they're holding each other accountable as well. Um, so, um, yeah, I'd say, you know, everybody does, everybody here, especially this team this year, they do a good job of holding each other accountable. And we're honest with each other. I mean, and especially offense, you know, I can't really speak for defense. Um, but like in our in our meetings, you know, we, uh, you know, we'll sit down and like, all right, look, this is where we got to get better. We're not on the same page right here, you know, and, and this is where you need to get better, so-and-so, or, you know, you know, like we have those meetings, you know, we're honest with each other, um, so. I don't think we're lacking leadership. Um, you know, I think the offensive leaders, uh, 
I've been the guys that were uh, recognized in fall camp. You know, um, I say DJ's a leader. You know, uh, the kid's young, but man, like that kid, he he puts so much effort in. He he works so hard, um, and I'm I'm extremely proud of, of DJ. Um, I really am. Um, you know, you got Jordan McFadden and, and uh, Bob Course at O line. Uh, you know, those those guys are the rock of the O line. Um, and receivers, you know, you got you got Justin. Uh, you know, he's the he's the vet. He's extremely experienced, and, and those guys uh, just kind of, you know, watch what he does, and you know, trying to learn from the best. Um, and tight ends, I'd say it's it's Braden and, and me. Um, but there's no lack of leadership on this team. There really isn't. I mean, I mean this is my third year here, and and this might be um, just like overall amount of like hard workers we have. I mean, like guys really care. Like, there's not an issue at practice. Like, we're we're going 110 percent every day, all day. Um, so that that's not an issue um, at all. Davis, you're around Coach Elliott as much as anybody. Mm. How do you, how's he dealing with all the criticism he's getting right now? Do you feel for him right now? Um, you know, Coach E's Coach E, uh, and 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 being an OC come like you know a lot of criticism comes with that job. Um, but you know he has you know stayed the same. You know he he's the rock of our for you know tight ends specifically. You know he's the leader of our room. You know and and um, you know he 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 can't worry about what everybody says about him. You know because he's he he's got to lead the offense. He's the leader of the offense and he's done a great job with that. And I mean for all the people that are criticizing him, I mean he's not to blame. He really isn't. He's not the guy that needs to be blamed. He, it's you know the players are the ones that play. You know, uh, and and he's had great game plans every week, um, and it's just a lack of you know execution on our part in some areas. Um, but you know, Coach E's done a great job of just kind of you know keep staying inside out is what I kind of best describe it as. You know, he's not really you can't listen to it, especially you know being an OC and. Uh, with all the criticism that comes with that. Um, he's done a great job. He's been a great example for us because it's very easy right now being two and two to listen to everybody from the outside and, and what everybody's saying about us. And it's extremely easy to do that right now. And, and But we can't do that. If we want to stay together, we can't do that. we got to stay inside out. And he's been a great example of staying inside out and just focusing on what you can focus and what you can control. And... Um, so he, he's done a good job of not listening to the outside noise. Yeah, what do you do? Do you turn off your cell phone? Do you talk oh, yeah. I, I don't check social media anymore. Not right now. I mean, it is filled with negativity. You know, it's just it's not good for the soul, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I, I've been staying away from that. Are you not – I mean, does any part of that – bother you in the sense that, you know, hey, we won six ACC titles and a couple of national championships over the last five years, and now people are upset about what they're seeing right now. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. You know, like, you're going to find out who the true friends are. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't play to – I don't play to the appeal of the fans or, like, that's not where I get my um, – uh, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. I, I play for I play for one person, and that's my savior, Jesus Christ, and, and I, I play for him. Um, and I really don't care what anybody else thinks um, about you know how I'm doing or how this team's doing, because uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It just what matters is how we think ourselves, what we think about this team. So, Davis, what, what, what do you find that the communication is among the office line and tight ends? Um, I don't really think it's an issue. Um, I thought we did a really good job of it this week. Uh, you know, we've we've had to put in extra time um, to to be on the same page about whatever our game plan is, um, and that that comes with it. I I mean, 
I've had to do that all three years I've been here. You know, you know, there's just there's a lot that we have to communicate. It's not just very simple things. I mean, the defense can change a look, and you know, I've got two or three calls I have to make potentially just on that one play. I mean, it, it's just it's very complex, um, and so. But I, I feel like, yeah, like we struggled with that a little bit um, at the beginning. I feel like we're very like we're progressing pretty good, um, and I thought we did. A, a very good job this week of being on the same page. I mean, obviously you're not going to be perfect every time, um, never, but, um, you know, I feel good where we're at communication-wise between us two. Davis, have you jumped into uh, Boston College yet? And I'm guessing, you know, they're playing pretty well, and they're probably going to be a little bit motivated about what happened here last year. Yeah, I've looked at them a little bit, um, and we'll we'll – dive into them a lot tonight um but you know Boston College obviously they're they're a really good team I mean very tough um as always um and it's going to be a really good challenge this week for sure um but you know I'm you know Coach E will make a great game plan as always and um uh, you know I'm I'm very confident that this team will respond you know, that's just that's what we do. And uh, it's the culture that Coach Sweeney's built here. Um, but yeah, they're they're a great team and they're gonna be gonna be tough. They really are. Um, and they're well coached, really disciplined. They do the little things really good, really good. And the scheme that they play in, they play their scheme really well. Um, so it's gonna be a really good challenge this week. I mean, uh, his work ethic is, I mean, just, like I think about this morning, like we had a 6.30 lift this morning and uh, he's grinding in there. He's not going through the motions, you know, he, he's pushing himself, just drenched in sweat. I mean, he, I, I feel like, you know, like this motivates him. He wants to do good, you know, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to lose. No one wants to lose. Um, and, you know, he comes in every day with the same attitude and uh, you can tell he's really, 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 really pushing himself in practice. Just, just overall in every aspect of you know playing quarterback. You know, just his job specifically, and making sure everybody's on the same page. And he's done a really good job, and I'm, I'm really proud of him. Um, and you can tell that he cares, and that you know he wants to do anything, everything he can to to help us win. No, I don't. I don't think there's any really specific reason. Just kind of how it's played out, um, but not nothing real specific. Is the perimeter blocking from both the receivers and tight ends where y'all want it to be? Um, I'm, I think they've done a pretty good job. Uh, just where we're at. I mean, everybody's work. Everybody's growing. Everybody wants to get better. I mean, we're not going to be perfect. Like I said, you always are trying to improve. Uh, in every aspect, whether it's blocking, catching, communication, whatever it is. Um, but, you know, we've, we've put in a lot of work uh, with that specifically as well. I mean, as of just like everything else. And so, you know, I think those guys, have, they're trying really hard and they're doing a pretty good job. And, of course, we're, you know, we're always going to try to get better in every aspect. Anybody on, anybody on Zoom have a question? Thanks, David. Thanks, David. Appreciate it.